Hello students. Now let us study some results on the trigonometric function. You know the definition of sine function and cos function. And uh, according to the definition, if p in bracket a comma b is any point on the unit circle such that OP makes an angle x radian with the positive direction of x axis, then sin x is defined as b and let us take it as y y is equal to sin x that is equal to b now we know the other results that is uh, sin x is equal to b if sin x equal to b and uh, you can observe the value of values of b as point varies if the position of the point is uh, here this is the b actually this height itself is the is the b and it is very less as we move the point this b increases and this is actually b in the first quadrant the height set itself as b and uh, this is b at this position and uh, the value of b increases and when we reach this point b is maximum and uh, the maximum value of b is 1 that means b is always less than 1 it cannot be more than 1 and after that if you still move the point and the value of b like this this is the value of b and uh, it decreases it decreases and uh, at this point the value of b is 0 and here all these are above x axis and uh, these strips whatever line I have drawn here these are above x axis therefore b is positive here and if you still move the point and suppose this is the point and then this is b now the length is positive but the, the numerical value of b is negative here because it is below x axis and you know the coordinate of the point in the third quadrant x and y coordinates are negative here b decreases and uh, like this when we reach this point you will have the minimum value of b the minimum value of b is minus 1 that is minus 1 less than or equal to b less than or equal to 1 next you can observe in the next portion that is uh, what is actually the b b is sin x therefore minus 1 less than or equal to sin x less than or equal to 1 that means the sin x always lies between plus 1 and minus 1 this result you have to remember sin x lies between plus 1 and minus 1 similarly the result holds for cos x also and uh, the cos x uh, you can observe cos x and here before that you can observe uh, sin x is what is the value of sin what is sin x actually sin x is y that means minus 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1 that means if you take y is equal to sin x then y lies between minus 1 to plus 1 y cannot be greater than 1 or less than minus 1 similarly you can go through the cos function if you define y is equal to cos x and the definition of cos x is a and here the value of a a is x coordinate of the point and you can observe the different values taken by the x coordinate and if the point is here at this position and uh, you know that x coordinate is 1 that is the maximum value here we have to measure this this is actually x coordinate and uh, as we move the point x coordinate reduces when we reach this point x coordinate will become 0 and if you move further this values you can observe that these x coordinate the point is here and this is negative side of and which is x coordinate here if you take the point 
and it is negative side that's why these values are negative and uh, this is actually the value of a and it is negative here and it is minimum that is minus 1 therefore cos x also lies between minus 1 to plus 1 see here the value of a lies between minus 1 to plus 1 therefore cos x lies between minus 1 to plus 1 mm -hmm. these are the two important results you have to memorize and uh, this is the maximum and minimum values of cos x and sin x and therefore here also you can if you take the function y is equal to cos x then minus 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1 now you know the identity and uh, just let us recall the two the identities of trigonometry function sin x whole square plus cos x whole square and uh, this equal to a square plus b square sin x is a and cos x is b and uh, a square plus b square that is equal to 1 square by using the Pythagoras theorem you will have sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1 this identities already you studied in the previous class and you have to memorize this identity and this identity you will get it very easily by using this definition of trigonometric function.